His head was down. He harboured a slightly troubled look. Because in one hand he held tight to a whole world of negativity. Every piece of disconstructive criticism passed over him undeservedly. Every derogatory word he somehow started to believe. Yet, in his other hand, he palmed carefully. A whole world of possibility. Every single dripping ounce of every single thing that he could be, that thing deep down inside the guts of him that one day he hoped he would be, and that's when he saw me. Not the me that you see me, but the me that has been before these years had been. You get me? And we paused. He didn't recognise me. My scraggly bearded bewildered look had added years to me. Hopes high and shattered dreams and all that life had thrown at me had somehow rendered me unrecognisable to myself. And we paused. And the fact that this practically impossible scenario had happened wasn't what startled me. The actual fact, in actual fact, was that it wasn't all of me, it was simply just a piece. You see, I think that we're all made up of pieces. Shattered fragments of past experience. I am the pieces I picked up from what life has thrown at me. I am mixtapes from Jungle Rave days in Stevie Hyper's heyday. I am conversations had, advice taken. I am the scars that life has gave me. I am prayers prayed under sunset skies. I am the price that was paid for me, my own unique part of the story. But it doesn't finish there easy, because these pieces are our heritage, our birthright and privilege, and if they didn't fall into our laps, believe we reached out and grabbed these, yet these lives are simply passing. So we're just simply passing on these pieces. The way we rolled, it'll be our legacy. But what then of opportunity? And this one that lays in front of me, what pieces shall I impart into this version of a younger me? I pause and wait silently and then begin to say, son, I believe that you could be any single thing that you want to be. And I see you've got some verses in you, so hold on tight and listen, because these are the pieces that I want to leave. Don't just write bars but pen, verses and lines that in our time will reach off of the page, out above the stars and delve right into the core of a person and never stop searching for true wisdom. And mate, don't just write rhymes, but pen, verses and lines that in our time will reach off the page and literally stop time dead in its tracks and make people stand up and pay attention. Use what is freely given. Don't get caught in the system. Don't be afraid to be heard and never underestimate the power of the spoken word. You see, some stolen pieces were never truly given. And some truly given stole so much more of living. So as I look into the eyes of yours and mine, I'm asking you, please listen. Deposit carefully the pieces which you have been given. And never stop collecting more. Because these will be your legacy to the ones that are left here living. And just while you're thinking, here's one for your considering. Who do you suppose it was that put those pieces into being in the beginning? in the beginning.